Take a chill. Tesla's just introduced a new mode for its electric cars called Chill, and unlike ludicrous mode, this one is going to make you all relaxed. But what is it, and why is it needed? Stick around, and I'll tell you. As long as the Tesla Model S has existed, no, for as long as Tesla has been making electric cars, actually, the super fast 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 sprint times of its cars have become something of a trademark. And as Tesla's range of all electric cars have gotten more mature, so too has the acceleration got quicker. Thought drag strip aficionados, owning an electric car that can go from 0 to 60 in just over two seconds is, of course, a dream come true. But while it is fun to bury the throttle in the floor and see everything get very small very quickly in your rearview mirror, driving a Tesla in ludicrous mode all the time, or even in standard mode, can sometimes be a little challenging if you want to stay within the bounds of the law. Or at best, you end up keeping your foot very lightly pressed on the accelerator whenever you want to go forwards. Of course, it's not just Tesla. Thanks to the wonders of physics, electric motors have instant torque the moment they start moving, a factor that helps pretty much every electric car out there today enjoy reasonable off-the-line performance. And while some electric cars have faster acceleration than others, usually because they have more powerful electric motors and higher spec battery packs that can push more power through the inverter in the motor, that little fact of physics, if you're familiar with it, can help you chirp the tires of pretty much any EV out there. To accommodate that fact, or at least to prevent owners from getting into too much trouble with all that instant torque, most electric cars on sale today have accelerator pedals that are mapped to generally dial in the power at low speeds to avoid over-enthusiastic wheel spinning. Some, like the Chevrolet Bolt EV, have a sport mode that's designed to change that throttle response completely and give you earlier access to all that torque. For the uninitiated, chill mode, which is being pushed to all Tesla Model S, Model X and Model 3 cars now via Tesla's over-the-air update system, essentially changes the throttle mapping, which is the term used to describe how the car's onboard power systems respond to the electronic signals from the throttle on all drive-by-wire cars to a less aggressive setting, meaning that you'll have to push the accelerator further to get the same response that you would in the standard Tesla operating mode. The result? It's harder to get those insane off-the-line accelerations, but it's also a lot more comfortable to drive in traffic because the throttle becomes a lot less sensitive to input. While it won't be the default operating mode, it can be toggled through Tesla's massive touchscreen interface, and I'm guessing that many Tesla owners will want to give it a go and see what it's really like. And if I'm honest, I think that more electric cars, especially more powerful ones, need this mode or something similar to it as standard too. Why? Well, at the moment, the majority of EVs out there on sale have a way to dial in the amount of regenerative braking you experience on accelerator liftoff. Some cars, like the Chevrolet Bolt EV, have a regenerative braking on demand paddle that makes it possible to single pedal drive without even touching the brake. If you don't know what that is, I've linked to a video I did on the subject a few months back in the description below. Some cars also have an eco mode, which softens out the throttle response, just like Tesla's chill mode does, but sometimes also restricts the maximum power the car can send to the road, and in the cases of certain cars like the Nissan Leaf, also restricts the air conditioning power too, to maximize range. At the same time, such eco modes often tweak accelerator liftoff, meaning it's something of an all or nothing mode. You can have the software acceleration, but only if you accept the accelerator liftoff tweak and, in some cases, AC limitations. So Tesla's solution is far more useful since it allows you to have a softer accelerator response without changing anything else about the way the car drives. And that, as the name suggests, means a more chilled out driving experience. Okay, so now I've explained it, are there any other reasons for advocating for a chill mode on other cars other than the more relaxed driving response? Well, yes, there is and it's got to do with cold weather. You see, because electric cars produce all their torque at low speed, it's very easy to slip those wheels in super snowy or low traction conditions, especially if your vehicle does not have appropriate winter tires. 
activating chill mode in difficult traction conditions would essentially be the same as activating the fabled snow mode that certain first-generation Toyota RAV4 EV electric cars had from the factory. And just like snow mode, using chill mode in a more powerful EV could help improve driver safety in poor road conditions, which would lead to less accidents. As someone with a Bolt EV, a car that really does lose traction with very little input if you're a little enthusiastic, I'd certainly welcome chill mode. But what about you? That's it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded and click the Patreon link at the end of this video or in the description below if you want to help me make more of these videos. Until next time, keep evolving!